and this bike really serves as a reminder of just how far road bikes have developed in the last 40 years. Now, this brand new Alley Sprint is definitely a state-of-the-art cutting-edge road bike, but it builds on 41 years of development. Heck, that's as old as me. And for a bit of fun, here's a look back at a retro Alley from the late 80s. Now, it's worth remembering that back in the early 80s, when the Alley was first introduced, it was the company's flagship road race bike, well before Tarmac came along in the 2000s. And back in the early 80s, it was a steel road bike. And then by the late 80s, it really morphed into a showcase for the latest technology of the day. And this really was as good as it got in 1988. So we have, as you can probably see, steel lugs with carbon fiber tubes. Have you ever seen a road bike like that? It looks fantastic, doesn't it? So real skinny carbon tubes, really elegant steel lugs, a real fine looking bike. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to ride a bike. It's worth too much money to let me ride it on the open road. So I can't tell you how it rides, but we can go through details on a bike. And this bike serves as a fascinating reminder of how far road bikes have come, especially the Alley Sprint we're looking at today. And then fast forward a few years and the Alley became an aluminium bike just as it is today. And by the early 2000s, the first Tarmac was introduced, the company's very first full carbon fiber monocoque frame. Despite that demotion to the second league, the company didn't stop developing aluminium. And in 2013, Smart Weld was introduced. And in 2015, the first Alley Sprint was introduced. Besides the frame, which is stunning, my favorite detail on this bike is actually the gearing and maybe the tires. We'll come back to the tires in a moment. So the gearing really shows how far bikes have come, thankfully. So up front, we have a 5242 chainset, with Shimano's uh, short-lived biopace design. And out back, we have a seven-speed 1123 cassette. Now, can you imagine riding this gearing up your favorite hills? Now, some of you watching might have ridden the group set back in the day, but thankfully I'm too young to have suffered on a bike with such high gearing. So that's a real big development that we've seen over the last few years. And then the other reminder of how scary these road bikes must have been back in the day, it's the skinny tires. These are just 20 millimeters wide and they're tubs, so they're glued to the rims. And they do look scary to look at. I mean, they're so narrow. I can't imagine riding these tires today at all. So I, for one, am glad we have wide tires, tubeless tires as well, so nice low pressures, good comfort and traction, and wider, low range gears to make cycling more accessible and more enjoyable than a bike like this must have been back in the day. I mean, it wasn't a bike designed for recreational riding, it was a bike designed for racing, and a real reminder of how far bikes have come. And let me know down below if you rode a bike back in the 80s, and if you did, what was it like? I'd love to hear from you. So the Alley, as you can see, has come a heck of a long way. And thankfully, it's still gonna be here for the future as well. So long live the Alley.